everyone, it's Melissa. Today we're going to make a wonderful cream puff. It's right over here. It's super easy and it's pretty much fail proof, but it's something that looks really fancy. So let's get started and learn how to make this beautiful cream puff. So first thing first, make sure your oven is preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We will need one cup flour, half a cup butter, four eggs, one cup of water, one teaspoon of vanilla, quarter teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of sugar. Next, we are going to turn on the heat and get our water to boil. We will also be adding in our butter, salt, and sugar. We will boil this mixture until everything is well combined. Alright, looks like the mixture is well combined and boiling hot. I'm pouring in the flour into this hot mixture and turning off the heat. Next, I'm going to stir it vigorously until everything is well combined. Eventually, you'll get this shiny, glossy ball of dough and you know you're ready. Alright, the dough looks ready for the eggs. I'm adding in two of the eggs here and giving it a good stir. The eggs and the dough don't combine very easily together at first, but after a lot of stirring, they eventually become friends. And I just remembered that I have two more eggs, and I'm not sure why I didn't add them in together at a time. So yeah, feel free to add in all four of your eggs and start a lot of stirring, mixing. Give it some love, give it some time. Eventually, you will get this nice, smooth paste. And now I'm going to add in a bit of vanilla to give our um, cream puff shells a very nice fragrance. The easiest way to make these shells is just to take a spoonful and drop it on a baking sheet. So do remember that this bob dough will grow pretty big, so give it plenty of space to grow. Another way we can make the shells is to squeeze out the dough paste from a pastry bag. So I have here the Wilton 1M tip. It's a large open star tip. Now I'm going to fill up this pastry bag with the dough mixture. And I'm going to make these little rosettes starting from the outside. I curl to the center and that's how I make my little pastry shells using a pastry bag. And look at how cute they are. The ones that we spooned out are also very cute too. So let's put them in the oven that we've already preheated. So it's 400 degrees for 20 minutes. While the shells are baking, let's go ahead and make the filling. We're going to start by making the custard part of the filling. We will need two tablespoons of sugar, and then one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of flour, and one egg. So after giving that a quick mix, I'm adding in one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of hot water. Give that a good mix and we're going to pour that mixture into some hot boiling milk. So this is one cup of milk, it's boiling. We're going to pour in our eggy mixture and give it a good stir. I'm going to keep on stirring and boiling this mixture so that the egg gets all cooked and it will start to thicken later on. I'm gonna keep the fire on and keep on stirring for about a minute. When the mixture starts to thicken a bit, I'm gonna turn off the heat. 
So this is the custard and it's a bit cool now. As you can see, the consistency is even thicker. And it's been 20 minutes. Our shells are golden and ready to be taken out of the oven. This is always the most exciting step. They're so round and perfect and it's hard to imagine that they were that glob of dough because they're so cute and puffy now. So these are the ones that we did with the spoon and these over here are the ones that we did with the pastry bag. They both look great. So we're gonna let the shells cool and get back to our filling. So that's three tablespoons of sugar and two cups of whipped cream. We're going to combine later on the custard that we've made with this lovely whipped cream. And with an electric beater, you're going to beat the whipped cream into a nice white fluffiness. And it's always very important not to overdo the whipping because if you overdo whipped cream, it will collapse and you're going to get chunky pieces of butter. So always pay very careful attention to your process. And that looks like that looks ready. Yeah, I am not going to overbeat my whipped cream and that looks good to me. So I'm going to combine my whipped cream with our custard. And it's very important that the custard is cool or it will melt the whipped cream. So carefully fold these two together and our filling's ready. So let's start filling them cream puffs up. If you want people to be able to see your filling, you can cut your cream puff up like this. And with a pastry bag, make a very nice rosette swirl in your cream puff. Oh yeah, there we go. So this is one way to fill up your cream puff. Or you can poke a hole on the side of your cream puff and fill in from the side so that your cream will be hidden inside. And for me, if I'm making a lot of these and taking them somewhere, I prefer to use this technique so that I don't ruin the whipped cream while I'm traveling. Or if you want to, you can also just insert the cream from the bottom of your cream puff if that's what you prefer. And there we go, here are our finished cream puffs. Some you can see the filling, others you can't, but they are both as lovely. I've decided to sprinkle on a bit of powdered sugar because powdered sugar makes everything nice. Thanks so much for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you made lovely cream puffs as well. And I hope you shared them with other people because baking is sharing and sharing is caring. Also check out my blog for more details about this recipe and other great posts about food and travel. I'll see you in my next video or my next blog post. Bye!